Hello friends, Namaskar. Budget 2023 is released and through this budget, what are the key benefits or I may say income tax benefits which a businessman can think about that which he may avail from the perspective of the financial year 23-24 computation of total income because it is really very really necessary to create a kind of ease of business related atmosphere and in my opinion my dear friends two very important changes which are important to a businessman from the perspective of this budget 2023 are very relevant and apt which I am going to discuss through this video. The first and foremost point which can give the relief to the businessman at large is the revision in section 44 AD limit. Now you may say that okay what is this Mr. Bhatia section 44 AD. I may put it up in this manner my dear friends. Say if for an example you are an individual, you are a HGF or you are a normal partnership firm but not LLP. You may be a trader, you may be a person who is into a manufacturing activity but you are not into commission business, you are not into business of plying, hiring, leasing, goods carriages. Then section 44AD gives you an option that if you have turnover up to rupees 2 crore, you may on your bank receipt offer 6% margin and on cash receipt you may offer minimum 8% margin or higher as you wish because you have a better estimate of your income. Government is saying that we are proposing to increase this limit from rupees 2 crore to rupees 3 crore. That would mean that now more, more businessmen would be eligible to be covered under the ambit of section 44AD. That would mean once this enhancement would take place, then the businessman who is receiving gross receipt or turnover or total sale up to rupees 3 crore may offer income on their bank credits that is the direct credits in the bank account or receipt in form of UPI etc minimum 6% margin and on cash receipt they may be able to offer 8% margin. Now how it benefits to a businessman? This benefits to a businessman because this basically means that while your case will be opened for a scrutiny by the income tax department, the department would by and large accept the margin which you have offered. So this is a very beneficial point and one very important aspect which is to be understood here is that when government is increasing this limit from rupees 2 crore to 3 crore it is coming with a rider. What is that rider? It is saying that if your turnover is beyond 2 crore and up to 3 crore then in that case the condition is your receipt beyond 5% should not be in cash. So for an example if a person has 3 crore rupees of receipt and he or she is wishing to avail the benefit of 44 AD. He or she needs to ensure that beyond 15 lakh rupees their gross receipt is not in cash. If they can do so, they are available with the option of section 44 AD. Otherwise, such person has to offer the business income on actual basis rather than presumptive basis. So, if you ask me, if I deal with the uh, concept of ease of doing business, then this kind of amendment in law which is made for the businessman would promote ease of doing business because the businessman can focus on the business rather than on the taxation aspect as such from income tax perspective. Another interesting point which you may note here is that when you are into 44 AD thing whether with a turnover of rupees 2 crore and now with the enhanced turnover limit of 3 crore which may be applicable from financial year 23-24 there is no restriction as such on the cash payment that is applicable under section 40A3 of income tax law that beyond 10,000 you cannot pay in cash. In my opinion, if you are into 4480, you can pay in cash above the threshold limit of 10,000 and still there will not be any kind of disallowance to you. So that is a very important aspect which a businessman should take care about. Now I put up the second important amendment pertaining to the businessman particularly those who are covered under the MSME category. Here MSME category would include micro and a small category only. That government under section 43B of income tax law hitherto was saying that if the payment is due to the employees or to the bank or to the NBFC or to the railway, unless you make the actual payment, you will not be eligible to claim a deduction. This is for the payer. Now, from the MSME perspective, suppose if A is a person who is a large scale industry, and B is a person who is a MSME operator, micro or small enterprise. I am not covering here medium enterprise. And MSME has written a bill of rupees 10 lakh on this party. 
with this party that is large scale industry party A is not paying. Then unless it is paying, it will not be available to claim the deduction of this tax liability. That would mean if this large scale industry is covered under 30% tax liability, then in that case, if you will not pay, you are supposed to pay 3 lakh rupees of tax liability, this large industry. So that would mean that the industry would be prompted or those who are the recipient of services from micro and small industry will be prompted to ensure that they are making the payment to the MSME supplier within the prescribed time. I am again again repeating this benefit is available only when the service provider or goods provider is a micro or small enterprise. This benefit is not proposed for medium enterprise. So this is something really very beneficial which will promote the micro and small industry in the perspective of this budget 2023 related benefit which a businessman may avail. Lastly, my dear friends, one more benefit which I would like to discuss here is that as is prevailing this particular discussion in the market that the government of India is saying it is proposing that if you are earning total income up to rupees 7 lakh under the new regime, then we are not going to tax you. Your tax liability will be nil. So it is really very good for a small businessman for a, a small businessman in this perspective that if he or she is earning up to rupees 7 lakh government is not charging a single penny of tax liability. So that is also a kind of advantage which a businessman may avail. So I hope the benefits which I discussed here with you would have found them beneficial to you and they would certainly help you in conducting your business in more smoother way in the time to come. Thank you very much for being with me. Wishing you all the best. Jai Hind.